what made you um, think up this idea of a digital archive? Um, I'm not s real certain the exact impetus for the idea, but I do know that uh, when I came to Ohio State University um, just about 10 years ago now, uh, one of the things that was happening in our culture was the um, StoryCorps project for NPR. Right, so I knew about that project. And I also knew that our profession did not have a uh, central repository or even a public repository of narratives about literacy practices, values, understandings, experiences, activities that everybody in the profession had access to. So we had no shared um, resource that we could use to examine literacy uh, and to understand collectively what we were looking at or talking about. So uh, I was at a very uh, small university, Michigan Tech, in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, right, it's Upper Peninsula right there, and uh, Michigan Tech is right up, right up at the very top, right? So, uh, and it had moderate um, resources available for faculty, and certainly because it was an engineering institution, humanities faculty had even more moderate uh, resources. When I came to Ohio State, um, I knew I was going to a large flagship institution with a lot more uh, resources and resources available to humanists. Uh, in English studies. And I also knew that I was going to a place where there were people like Louis Ullman and Scott DeWitt and Kay Halasek and Nan Johnson, Beverly Moss, Brenda Brueggemann, all of whom had an interest in what I would call literacy uh, and graph, Harvey. Um, and so uh, to me it seemed a natural activity to want to study um, literacy. I already like stories. I just like telling them and I like listening to them. Uh, and I wanted to put the resources of the university behind a project that would benefit the entire profession. Um, something that would give every English teacher, every student of English uh, access to narratives about literacy so that literacy could be studied more systematically um, and um, so that we could have like a common corpus like linguists do. Linguists often operate a, out of a common corpus uh, and we didn't have a common corpus of literacy narratives uh, so I wanted to build one. I wanted to make it available to the profession for the benefit of the profession.